Hey guys, well look, if you watch this channel long enough, then you know that I do little things in Photoshop sometimes to hopefully spark some creativity or send me in a direction I wasn't considering and things of that nature. Um, and today I'm going to show you a quick one that I do from time to time because, for example, on this shot, which was taken a few years ago, it's really soft and delicate and that's the whole point. Not a whole lot of color saturation, but my first inclination when I think about adding saturation is there's effectively a monochromatic situation happening here effectively right so this yellow vintage sort of living room couch back there um, and then her skin tone and the outfit and the hair all of that is kind of similar hue angle and boosting saturation let's just go ahead and try it just you know blindly boosting saturation it does work, but it starts to get a little splotchy for me, and it doesn't really add like any type of tonal uh, quality to it, to me anyway. And I don't have much control with saturation up or down. And I can add saturation in smarter ways using a hue sat adjustment layer, you know, um, and putting it in color blend mode. We've talked about that in other videos, and that'll look a little smoother. But how do we, how do I, I should say, kind of add some zing to it, add some depth to it in some way? Well, here's what I do sometimes when I know I have like a, a color situation that could potentially be delicate, but I want to add some depth and some contrast. So what I do is I'll duplicate the image, whether it's the background and I'm, I'm final and uh, excuse me, I flatten the image final, etc. Or it's just the, you know, flattened uh, to a new layer version of the image. And I need it for a reason. And what I do is I go to filter, blur, average i go to average and i get a color and as you can imagine this is photoshop's way of taking every pixel on your image and finding an average and it doesn't it's not too much of a leap of faith to realize that this color is the average of everything happening here it obviously relates and it makes sense right now instead of keeping this raster layer here's what i do i take the magic wand excuse me not the magic wand the eyedropper i can talk eyedropper tool and i select it okay and then i'm going to delete it because i don't need it and i'm going to replace it with a solid color layer. Since I've already selected on that color, there it is, okay? So I have a hue of 25, which is nice orange, right? And all the other settings is fine for now. We're gonna change them potentially in a minute. First things first, I'm gonna go ahead and choose, I think I'll start with the blend mode. So I'm gonna put it on soft light. Already, we have depth added and like a color wash over the image. It's effectively a color wash over the image with its own average. So in theory, unless your color, unless your image has wild amounts of color variation, it should be complementary in some manner. However, I don't like the highlights getting messed up. So, or rather color graded. So I'm gonna go to blend if. We do have videos on blend if, if you guys wanna watch it, okay? And I'm gonna kinda take it away from the highlights. You can take it really away from the highlights, but I'm gonna just blend it up from the low to the high. Okay, there we go. I can even try overlay, see that? To me, that adds a nice depth to it. The saturation is under control because I'm not just boosting saturation linearly. It's actually quite nice, quite beautiful. But here's the better part. I can also put it on soft light again. I'm gonna to tone down the intensity of the calculation. Now I double click on the solid color layer. Here's where I can get a little bit creative based on you know, starting with the hue. Um, so let's go to saturation. We can increase it. You can see how it adds a little bit of depth very subtly. We can change the brightness, which adds more of a muted, but still, see, if we wanted to highlight, uh, excuse me, if we wanted a brighter look with that same color, we can do it. But if we take it down, it still adds depth. We can increase the saturation, okay? And we can shift the hue if we want yellower or redder, just ever so slightly. I mean, you can also go to blue and see in purple and see what happens, right? But I wanna work with just the color that's there, okay? From there to there. So I'm using, again, I start with the average of the image, which is like, well, what kind of color grade do I want to do? Maybe I just want to work with what the image has. So I start with an average and then I play from there and I decide if I want it darker, lighter, different blend modes. For example, overlay with that dark color is going to add probably too much, but I do like soft light, can play around with blend if. It's just a little trick that I do sometimes to send me in a direction. Like I said, when I'm thinking, how do I grade this, right? I hope that made sense. Just a quick little tip. It's just an idea to get going with a, a, a direction that you may not be considering. Also, average, um, a lot of people will run it, uh, especially if you're newer to Photoshop or even if you're not, you'll run average and go, what's the point of that? Well, if, if you want a basic average, a basic idea of the, what the color is doing on an image and, and along with the saturation and the brightness, because uh, it's not just a hue angle selecting, it's a great way to get you the average uh, essence of an image and then who knows what you can do with it.